four arrested over destruction of 1,700-year-old Buddha statue in Pakistan. Here's a summary of the article. Police in Pakistan have arrested four people in connection with the destruction of a 3rd century life-sized Buddha statue. Four people were detained on Saturday under antiquities law for allegedly destroying the centuries-old statue, police in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, the northwestern province of Pakistan, told The Independent. According to initial reports, the contractor and his three laborers destroyed the statue at the behest of local religious leader. A local police official told The Independent, at this moment it is not clear why and on whose directives the four accused destroyed the statue. The group were arrested after their video, in which they could be seen hammering a statue to pieces, went viral on social media. Abdul Samad, the provincial director of archaeology, told The Independent the laborers were doing construction work when they discovered the statue. In the video, the people could be heard discussing the statue while it was being destroyed. This post received a score of 14,000, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. FTA. The rare idol was discovered during construction work in a village near Taktai Bahi, known around the world for being the main cradle of the Buddhist civilization. According to initial reports, the contractor and his three laborers destroyed the statue at the behest of local religious leader. Wow fuck them, my religion's different from yours so I'm going to destroy your history. Meanwhile they are the same people that will kill you for making a comic that makes fun of them. Ah, equality. Religion doesn't allow for equality. If you're looking for obedient servants, you can't have them respecting, or even tolerating non-believers. There are plenty of religions that talk about exactly this concept. Of course, by the law of large numbers, you get assholes who would do this regardless. Hinduism has a concept of many paths to the mountain, which basically describes that many religions will lead you to enlightenment in different ways. In my unit on Hinduism, our teacher described how, at a Parisian Universal Exposition, a Hindu religious leader was there to explain his religion to a group of 19th century Frenchmen, and they walked away talking about how it made them curious about the subcontinent and strengthened their faith in Christianity. This is wrong. Buddhism explicitly says that there is only path to true enlightenment, the Eightfold Way. I am Buddhist studying Pali Canon, your statement is denied several times there. Reading a little bit deeper into this. The Mulvi preacher, that advised the builders to destroy it should be arrested as well. It's the religious schools and religious leaders that influence the illiterate and undereducated to believe whatever they tell them. Fuck the religious leaders in the Middle East and Pakistan okay. I'm a Muslim I'm not religious at all so I've never read the Quran no Arabic let's just say I've never opened any of my religious stuff in my entire life, but I was born in America and my parents from Syria and I know a lot of things about stuff there in Syria and Iraq. For example the religious Muslims leaders often teach the Muslims that they are better than other sects of Islam and other sects are the enemy these Imams often have no qualifications they just get appointed by some weird nuthead. The teaching of destroying statues is completely regular as well. An example is currently some idiot religious leaders said Saddam Hussein are terrorist leaders who ran an oppressive regime invaded Kuwait killed many Kurds started rutherless war with Iran etc. said he was a good Muslim man sent by God like fuck you know he wasn't he was a terrorist that killed a ton of people. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.